The overall goal of this procedure is to perform immunostaining on dissected zebrafish embryonic hearts to reveal cellular or subcellular structures in high resolution. This is accomplished by first preparing slides in a humidified chamber for immunostaining. Next, the heart is dissected from an anesthetized zebrafish embryo, followed by immunostaining on the embryonic heart with a specific antibody. Then, images of fish hearts are documented with a microscope equipped with an apotome. Finally, cellular or subcellular structures in a zebrafish embryonic heart are revealed using immunofluorescence microscopy. Due to much increased penetration, the main advantage of this technique over existing methods like home mount immunostaining is to be able to obtain high quality images of a standard zebrafish heart. To prepare a humidified chamber and to protect samples from light, use aluminum foil to wrap the chamber and the cover of an empty tip box. Prevent the samples from drying by placing a stack of wet paper towels in the bottom of the chamber and place a small microplate on top of the paper towels as a rack for slides. Using an image pen to make wells, draw either circles or lines with dimensions of about 5 by 5 millimeters on the surface of a microscope slide. Let the slides dry. Put the slides in the humidified chamber and add 50 microliters of formaldehyde to each well. To dissect the embryonic heart, anesthetize the fish embryo in E3 egg water containing 0.4% tricane.